Kanamachi. Kanamachi means hide and seek. It's a 2000 Bengali political thriller film directed by Raj Chakraborty and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is a remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Vidrati Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakraborty, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, a story by K.B. Anand, produced by Ashok Tanuka, starring Kus Hajra, Shravan Chatterjee, Abir Chatterjee, Sayoni. Rajatava Dutta Cinematography Shubankar Bar Yuvraj Edited by Rabi Ranjan Maitra Music by Indraji Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda Production Company SK Movies The plot of this movie is the film begins with Abir a young energy photojournalist working for the private newspaper Anand Bajar Rika witnessing Naxalites robbing a local bank. He changes them and manages to take photos of the robbers. When he tries to escape, he is stopped by a young woman and a Sravan Chatterjee who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers to take his camera. However, we manage to secure the memory card with the camera. The cops catch him and to prove that he is a press photographer, he shows the truth to them. The cops identify everyone in the photos except the gang leader whose face is covered by a mask at his office. Abir again meets Nayana who has only joined as article editor while San Bosch also works in his office and has been so Abir does not dislocate her feelings and treat her as only and settle in her job. Nena writes a cover story about the leader of opposition, Tarakishwar Dutta, describing his attempt to marry a minor and raised by this. Tarakishwar works on office and shouts at Nana. The audio recording of the interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. Abir later risks his life to capture 
features of Arak who actually engages in child's marriage and work at midnight. Later, the story with Urus is painted in their newspaper, and this makes Anna to fall in love with him, which Abir reciprocates. While initially jealous of the love between Abir and Anna, but later accepts it and gets over Abir. Meanwhile, Abiman chattels, a recent graduate and engineer, he strives hard to provide and to spread awareness among people, poor people. He and his team of graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture people by device and money. No one cares about and his team of graduates who promise a healthy government. Their party name is Born Holy Joy. One day, Avimanyu gets attacked by some miscreants on the streets and he rushes towards the ABP office to get help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and staff and security. Abhimanyu tells the staff that those kids are from the ruling party and they have been sent by the chief minister Yuji Sarkar. Abhir and Nena find out how women use election and and they had entire given extend their school to the field. Covering it extensively, much to the chagrin of Tarakeshwar and Chief Minister. One night, Abhimanyu parties organizes an election campaign meeting. Abir photograph event receives a text message from Fire that states there is a bomb underneath the stage where women knew is speaking. Abir manages to save Abhimanyu just before the bomb explodes. Later, Abir finds while fatally found it near the last side. While his students tell Abir and Nana before she dies, Abir threw a video clip recorded by another photograph. Finds out that Pyle was intentionally killed by someone. He also tells her that he is happy for Abhimanyu's success and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign. In the election, Abhimanyu's party wins by a huge majority and Abhimanyu becomes the chief minister. He orders the release of 10 Naxals on Republic Day, citing humanity. Shocked on hearing this news, Abir rushes to the secretariat to meet Abhimanyu. In Abhimanyu's office, Abir notices that the Naxalite leader who killed Poyal is sitting there talking to Abhimanyu 
Abir airs his grievances to Memanu, who ignores him. Abir then follows the leader to his hideout. At the same time, Memanu orders the Kolkata police to go kill the Naxals at their hideout, and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place and start firing at the Naxalites. The Naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage. Abir, already at the hideout, confronts the Naxalite leader whose name is Shankar and finds out from him that Abhimanyu had made a deal with Naxalite to help him win the election. They orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut. In order to win people's sympathy, in the same vein, they had planted a bomb on the stage where Abhimanyu was speaking during his meeting. Pyle had found out that the truth about Abhimanyu but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody. Avi realizes that Pyle had tried to warn him and Nana about Abhimanyu's true character before dying and also that now Abhimanyu is double crossing the satellite and is planning to kill them. As a show of achievement, Abir records the confession of Sankar using his mobile phone camera sends it to Nana, who plans to publish this story in their newspaper. Abir Menu then arrives outside the hideout and asks the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the next light. Abir Menu goes inside and asks Sankar to kill Abir. Sankar refuses as Abir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds. Abhimanyu then kills Sankar. He also tries to kill Abir. However, Abir triggers a bomb there which explodes, killing Abhimanyu. While Abir manages to ex escape, meanwhile, Abhimanyu's party members arrive at the hideout on hearing the news that Abhimanyu had died. Seeing their innocence, Abhir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character and intentions and supported him, believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Nana publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Anna submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical response is minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times. Kanamachi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. We are discussing about movie Kanamachi. Kanamachi means hide and seek is a 2000 Bengali political 
directed by Raj Chakravarti and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Indradeep Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakrabarti, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, a story by K.V. Anand, produced by Ashok Tanuka, starring Us Hajra, Shravan Chatterjee, Abir Chatterjee, Sayoni Osh, Rajatava Dutta, Cinematography, Shubankar Par Yuvraj, Edited by Rabi Ranjan Maitra. Music by Indraji Das Gupta and T.C. Chanda. Production company SK Movies. The plot of this movie is the film begins with Abir Kusumachra, a young, energetic photojournalist working for the private. Newspaper Anand Bajar Patrika AVP Witnessing Naxalites robbing a local bank. He changes them and manages to clean photos of the robbers. When he tries to escape, he is stopped by a young woman and a Ravanti Chatterjee, who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers to take his camera. However, we manage to secure the memory card with the camera. The cops catch him and to prove that. He is a press photographer. He shows the them. The cops identify everything in the photo except the hand leader whose face is covered by a mask at his office. Abir again meets Diana. Who has really joined as article editor? While Sani Bosch works in his office and has been so me. Abir does not reciprocate her feelings and treat her as only a friend. Settled in her job. Nana writes a cover story about the leader of opposition, Tara Kishwar, describing his attempt to marry a minor enraged by this. Tara Kishwar works on the newspaper office and shouts at Nana. Audio recording of an interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. Abir later risks his life to capture pictures of Tara Kishwar, who actually engages in child's marriage. Night. Later, the story with Uruz is printed in their newspaper, and this makes Nana to fall in love with him, which Abir reciprocates. While he's initially jealous of the love between Abir and Nana. But later accepts it and gets 
वो कभी मीन वाइल कभी बनीट ग्रेजुएट Lives are provided and to spread awareness among people, poor people. He and his team of graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture people by giving free buys and money. No one cares about Ami Manu and his team of graduates who promise a healthy government. Their party team is born of joy. joy. One day, Ami Manu gets attacked by some miscreants on the streets and he rushes toward the baby. Help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and staff and security. Women tells the staff that those miscreants are from the ruling party and they have been sent by the chief minister Suji Sarkar. Abhi and Nena find out about Women News election campaign, and they had entire ABP team extend their support to the campaign, covering it extensively, much to the chagrin of Tarakesh and Chief Minister. One night, Abhi parties. An election campaign meeting. Abir photographed an event. Receives a text message from the file that states there is a bomb underneath the stage where women knew this is being. Abir manages to save a woman just. The bomb explodes. Later, Abir finds while battling on the old glass side. While he struggles, tells Abir and Nana before she dies. Abir, through a video clip recorded by another photographer. Finds out that Pyle was intentionally killed by someone. He also tells her that he is happy for Abhimanyu's success and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign. In the election, Abhimanyu's party wins by a huge majority and Abhimanyu. comes the chief minister he orders the release of 10 naxals on republic day citing humanity shocked on hearing this news abir rushes to the secretariat to meet abimanyu in abimanyu's office abir notices that the naxalite leader who killed pyle is sitting there Talking to Abimanyu, Abir airs his grievances to Abimanyu, who ignores him. Abir then follows the leader to his hideout. At the same time, Abimanyu orders the Kolkata police to go kill the Naxals at their hideout, and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place. and they start firing at the naxalites a naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage abir 
already at the hideout, confronts the Naxalite leader, whose name is Shankar, and finds out from him that Abhimanyu had made a deal with Naxalite to help him win the election. They orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut. In order to win people's sympathy, in the same vein, they had planted a bomb on the stage where Abhimanyu was speaking during his meeting. Pyle had found out that the truth about Abhimanyu but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody. Avi realizes that Pyle had tried to warn him and Nana about Abhimanyu's true character before dying and also that now Abhimanyu is double crossing the next light and is planning to kill them. As a show of achievement, Abhi records the confession of Sankar using his mobile phone camera sends it to Nana who plans to publish this story in their newspaper. Abhi Manu then arrives outside the hideout and asks the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the next light. Abhi Manu goes inside and asks Sankar to kill Abhi. Sankar refuses as Abir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds. Abhimanyu then kills Sankar. He also tries to kill Abir. However, Abir triggers a bomb there which explodes, killing Abhimanyu. While Abir manages to ex escape, meanwhile, Abhimanyu's party members arrive at the hideout on hearing the news that Abhimanyu had died. Seeing their innocence, Abhir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character and intentions and supported him, believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Nana publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Nana submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical responses minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times, Kana Machi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. Hello friends, today we are discussing about movie Kana Machi. Kana Machi means hide and seek is a 2000 Bengali political thriller film directed by Raj Chakravarti and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Indradeep Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakravarti, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, a story by K.V. Anand, produced by Ashok Tanuka, starring Kus Hajra, 
श्रवण चैटर्जी कबीर चैटर्जी सायोनी घोष राजतवा दत्ता सिनेमेटोग्राफी शुभंकर और युवराज एडिटेड बाय रवि रंजन मैत्रा म्यूजिक बाय इंद्रजी दास गुप्ता एंड ऋषि चंदा प्रोडक्शन कंपनी एस के मूवीज द प्लॉट ऑफ दिस मूवी इज द फिल्म बिगिन्स विद कबीर अंकुश मिश्रा ए यंग एनर्जेटिक फोटो जर्नलिस्ट वर्किंग फॉर द प्राइवेट Anand Ajar Tripa Witnessing Naxalites Probing a local Then He changes them And manages to take photos Of the robbers When he tries to escape He is stopped By a young woman And a Sravanti Chirag who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers to take his camera. However, we manage to secure the memory card with the camera. The cops catch him and to prove that he is a press photographer. He shows the proof to them. The cops identify everyone in the photo except the gang leader whose face is covered by a mask at his office. Abir again meets Nayana who has fully joined as a while Sani Bosch also works in his office and has feelings for Abir. Abir does not dislocate her feelings and treat her as only a friend. Settled in her job, Nana writes a our story about the leader of opposition, Tara Kishwar Dutta, describing his attempt to marry a minor enraged by this. Tara Kishwar works on the newspaper office and shouts at Nana. The audio recording Years, and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. Abir later risks his life to capture pictures of Tarakish, who eventually engages in child marriage in the at midnight. Later, the story with photos is printed in their newspaper, and this makes Anna to fall in love with him, which Abir reciprocates. While is initially jealous of the love between Abir and Anna, but later accepts it and gets over Abhi. Meanwhile, Abhi Mandi, Chatterjee, a recent graduate and engineer, he strives hard to provide education and to spread awareness among poor people. He and his team graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture the people by giving advice and money. 
no one cares about Ami Manu in his team of graduates who promise a healthy government in people. Their party name is born of Mori Joy. One day, Ami Manu gets attacked by some Christians on the streets and he rushes toward the ABP office to get help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and staff and security. Women tells the staff that two Christians are from the green party and they have been by the chief minister Yuji Saka. Abir and Nana find out about women news election campaign and they had entire ABP team extend their support to the team. Covering it extensively much to the chagrin of Tarakesh and chief minister. One night, Abhimanyu parties organizes an election campaign meeting. Abhir photography event receives a text message from Fire that states there is a bomb underneath the stage where Abhimanyu Abir manages to save Abhimanyu just before the bomb explodes. Later, Abir finds fire that he found in the old glass side. While he struggles, tells Abir and Nana before she dies. Abir threw a video clip recorded by another photographer finds out that Pyle was intentionally killed by someone. He also tells her that he is happy for a big new success and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign. In the election, Abhimanyu's party wins by a huge majority and Abhimanyu becomes the chief minister. He orders the release of 10 Naxals on Republic Day, citing humanity. Shocked on hearing this news, Abhir rushes to the secretariat to meet Abhimanyu. In Abhimanyu's office, Abir notices that the Naxalite leader who killed Pyle is sitting there talking to Abhimanyu. Abir airs his grievances to Abhimanyu, who ignores him. Abir then follows the leader to his hideout. At the same time, Abhimanyu orders the Kolkata police to go kill the Naxals at their hideout and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place and start firing at the Naxalites. The Naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage. Abir already at the hideout confronts the Naxalite leader whose name is Shankar and finds out from him that Abhimanyu had made a deal with Naxalite to help him win the election. They orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut. In order to win people's sympathy, in the same vein, they had planted a bomb on the stage where Abhimanyu was speaking during his meeting. Pyle had found out 
that the truth about the woman knew but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody Avi realizes that Bail had tried to warn him and Nana about Abhimanyu's true character before dying and also that now Abhimanyu is double crossing the slide and is planning to kill them. As a show of achievement, Abhi records the confession of Sankar using his mobile phone camera sends it to Nana who plans to publish this story in their newspaper. Abhimanyu then arrives outside the hideout and asks the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the next light. Abhimanyu goes inside and asks Sankar to kill Abhir. Sankar refuses as Abhir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds. Abhimanyu then kills Sankar. He also tries to kill Abir. However, Abir triggers a bomb there which explodes, killing Abiman. While Abir manages to ex- escape, meanwhile, Abiman news party members arrive at the hideout on hearing the news that Abiman knew had died. Seeing their innocence, Abir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character and intentions and supported him. Believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Nana publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Nana submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical response is minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times. Kanamachi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. Hello friends, today we are discussing about movie Kanamachi. Kanamachi means hide and seek. It's a 2000 Bengali political thriller film directed by Raj Chakravarti and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Indrati Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakrabarti, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, a story by KV Anand. Produced by Ashok Tanuka, starring Us Hajra, Shravan Chatterjee, Abir Chatterjee, Sayon Osh, Rajatava Datta, Cinematography Shubankar Par Yuvraj, edited by Rabi Ranjan Maitra, music by Indraji Das Gupta and JC Chanda. Production company SK Movies. The plot of this movie is the film begins with Abir Kanusachra, a young energy photojournalist working 
for the private newspaper Anand Bajar Trika MLP Witnessing her life's hobbing and low and he changes and and enemies take photos of the troubles when he tries to escape he is stopped by a young woman and a seven teachers who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers take his camera however we manage to secure the memory card the camera the cops catch him and to prove that he is a press photographer he shows the photos to them the cops identify everyone in the photo except the can leader whose face is covered by a mask at his office abir again meets naina who has newly joined as article editor while san bosch also works in his office and has links for me abir does not disclose her links and treat her as only a friend settle in her job Nana writes a cover story about the leader of opposition Tara Kishwar Akta describing his attempt to marry a minor enraged by this Tara Kishwar words on the newspaper office and shouts at Nana audio recording of the interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. A bit later risks his life to capture pictures of Arakishu who actually engages in a child's marriage night later the story with photos is printed in their newspaper and this makes Anna to fall in love with him which Abir reciprocates while initially jealous of the love between Abir and Anna but later accepts it and gets over Abhi. Meanwhile, Abhi Mani, Abhi Chatterjee, a recent graduate and engineer, he strives hard to provide education and to spread awareness among the people, the poor people. He and his team of graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture the people by giving money by and money. No one hears about Ami Manu is a team of graduates who promise a healthy government. Their party name is born of Polichoy. One day, a woman who gets attacked by some miscreants on the streets and he rushes towards the ABP office to get help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and stop 
and security. Abhimanyu tells the staff that those miscreants are from the ruling party and they have been sent by the chief minister to the Sarkar. Abhir and Jena find out about Abhimanyu's election campaign and they had entire Covering it extensively, much to the chagrin of Tarakesh and Chief Minister. One night, a new party is organized in election campaign meeting. A bill photographed event receives a text message from Fire that state. There is a bomb underneath the stage where women knew this is being. Abir manages to save a woman just before the bomb explodes. Later, Abir finds a file that he found it near the glass side. The file is so nice. Tell something. Abir and Anna before she dies. Abir threw a video clip of the by another photograph. Finds out that Pyle was intentionally killed by someone. He also tells her that he is happy for Abir's new success and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign. In the election, Abhimanyu's party wins by a huge majority and Abhimanyu becomes the chief minister. He orders the release of 10 Naxals on Republic Day, citing humanity. Shocked on hearing this news, Abhir rushes to the secretariat meet Abhimanyu. In Abhimanyu's office, Abhir notices that the Naxalite leader who killed Pyal is sitting there talking to Abhimanyu. Abhir airs his grievances to Abhimanyu, who ignores him. Abhir then follows the leader to his hideout. At the same time, Abhimanyu orders the Kolkata police to go kill the Naxals at their hideout and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place and start firing at the Naxalites. The Naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage. Abir already at the hideout confronts the Naxalite leader whose name is Shankar and finds out from him that Abhimanyu had made a deal with Naxalite to help him win the election. They orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut. In order to win people's sympathy, in the same vein, they had planted a bomb on the stage where Abhimanyu was speaking during his meeting. Pyle had found out that the truth about Abhimanyu but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody. Abhi realizes that Pyle had tried to warn him and Nana about Abhimanyu true character before dying and also that now Abhimanyu is double crossing the Naxalite and is planning to kill them. As a show of achievement, Abir records the confession of Sankar using his mobile phone camera sends it to Nana 
who plans to publish this story in their newspaper. Abhimanyu then arrives outside the hideout and asks the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the next light. Abhimanyu goes inside and asks Shankar to kill Abhir. Shankar refuses as Abhir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds. Abhimanyu then kills Shankar. He also tries to kill Abhir. However, Abhir triggers a bomb there which explodes, killing Abhimanyu. While Abir manages to ex escape, meanwhile, Abhimanyu's party members arrive at the hideout. On hearing the news that Abhimanyu had died, seeing their innocence, Abir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character and intentions and supported him, believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Anna publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Anna submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical response is minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times. Kana Machi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. Today we are discussing about movie Kana Machi. Kanamachi means hide and see is a 2000 Bengali political thriller film directed by Raj Chakravarti and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakrabarti, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, a story by K.V. Anand, produced by Ashok Tanuka, starring Us Hajra, Shravan Chatterjee, Abir Chatterjee, Sayoni Ghosh. Rajatava Tanta Cinematography Shubankar Bar Yuvraj Edited by Rabi Ranjan Maitra Music by Indra Ji Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda Production Company SK Movies The plot of this movie is The film begins with Abir Tampus Ajra a young energetic photojournalist working for the private newspaper Anand Bajar Narika witnessing the slides probing unlocked and he changes them and manages the photos of the robbers when he tries to escape he is stopped by a young woman, Anna Sravanti Chitraji, who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers to take his 
camera. However, we managed to secure the memory card the camera. The cops catch him and to prove that he is a press photographer. He shows the proof to them. The cops identify everyone in the photo except the hand leader whose face is covered by a mask at his office. Amir again meets Diana who has newly joined as article editor while Sani goes off works in his office and has feelings for me. Abir does not reciprocate her feelings and treat her as only a friend. Settled in her job, Nana writes a whole story about the leader of opposition Arab Ishbukta, describing his attempt to marry a minor and raised by his Tarakeshwar works on the newspaper of his and shouts at Nana. The audio recording of the interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. Later, this is his life capture pictures of Tarakesh who actually engages in child's marriage in a temple at midnight. Later, the story with Urus is printed in their newspaper, and this makes Anna to fall in love with him. Abir reciprocates while initially jealous of the love between Abir and Nana, but later accepts it and gets over Abir. Meanwhile, Abimani Abir chatters, he is a graduate and Drives are to provide education and to spread awareness among poor people. He and his team of graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture the people by giving advice and money. No one hears about Amimanyu and his team of graduates who promise a healthy government to people. Their party name is born of Holy Joy. One day, Amimanyu gets attacked by some miscreants on the streets and he rushes toward the ABP to get help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and staff and security. Abhimanyu tells my staff that two Christians are from the ruling party and they have been sent by the chief minister Eugene Sarkar. Abir and Nana find out about the new election campaign and they had their ABP extend their support to the campaign. Covering it extensively, much to the chagrin 
on that occasion and she had this one night a many parties organizes an election campaign meeting abir photography event receives a text message from fire that state there was home underneath Age where women knew his speak. Abir manages to save a woman just before the bomb explodes. Later, Abir finds a pile of cattle found in the old grass site. Pile is struggling to tell something to Abir and Nana. before she dies abir threw a video clip recorded by another photographer finds out that file was intentionally killed by someone he also tells her that he is happy for abir's new success and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign in the election abimin news party wins by a huge majority and abimin new becomes the chief minister he orders the release of 10 naxals on republic day citing humanity shocked on hearing this news abir rushes to the secretariat Abhimanyu in Abhimanyu's office Abir notices that the Naxalite leader who killed Pyal is sitting there talking to Abhimanyu Abir airs his grievances to Abhimanyu who ignores him Abir then follows the leader to his hideout at the same time Abhimanyu orders the kolkata police to go kill the naxals at their hideout and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place and start firing at the naxalites a naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage abir already at the hideout confronts the naxalite leader whose name is shankar and finds out from him that abimanyu had made a deal with naxalite to help him win the election they orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut in order to win people's sympathy in the same vein they had planted a bomb on the stage where abimanyu was speaking during his meeting pyal had found out that the truth about abimanyu but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody abir realizes that pyal had tried to warn him and nana about abimanyu's true character before dying and also that now abimanyu is double crossing the satellite and is planning to kill them as a so of achievement abhi records the confession of shankar using his mobile phone camera sends it to nana who plans to publish this story in their newspaper abimanyu then arrives outside the hideout and ask the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the naxalite abimanyu goes inside and asks shankar to kill abir shankar refuses as abir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds abimanyu then kills shankar he also tries to kill abir However, Abir triggers a bomb there which explodes killing Abimanyu. 
while Abir manages to ex escape. Meanwhile, Abhimanyu's party members arrive at the hideout on hearing the news that Abhimanyu had died. Seeing their innocence, Abir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character and intentions and supported him, believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Nana publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Nana submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical response is minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times. Kanamachi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. We are discussing about movie Kanamachi. Kanamachi means hide and seek. It's a 2000 Bengali political thriller film directed by Raj Chakrabarti and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Hidradeep Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakrabarti, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, a story by KV Anand, produced by Ashok Thanuka, starring Kus Hajra, Shravan Chatterjee, Abir Chatterjee, Sayon Ghosh, Rajatava Tanuka, Cinematography, Shubankar Har Yuvraj, edited by Rabi Ranjan Mahindra, music by Indraj Das and Rishi Chanda, production company SK Movies. The plot of this movie is, the film begins with Abir Angus Ashraf, a young energy critic, photojournalist, working for the private Anand Bajar Dhrimba MVP Witnessing Naxalites robbing a local bank He chases them and manages to kill photos of the robbers When he tries to escape, he is stopped by a young woman Ravanti Chatterjee, who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers take his camera. However, we manage to secure the memory card of the camera. The cops catch him and to prove that. He is a press photographer. He shows the photos to them. The cops identify every the photos except the gang leader whose face is covered by a mask at his office. Abir a 
an ihn nichts. Nein, ne? Who has really joined as art editor? While Sani was all works in his office and has feelings for me. Abir does not dislocate her feelings and treat her as only his plan. Settle in her job. Nena writes a cover story about the leader of position Tara describing his attempt to marry a minor and raised by the Tara works on the newspaper office and shouts at Nena. The audio recording of the interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. Abir later risks his life to capture pictures of Tarakish, who actually engages in a child's marriage in a temple at midnight. Later, the story is printed in their newspaper and this makes Anna to fall in love with him, which Abir has provoked. While initially jealous of the love between Abir and Nana, but later accepts it and gets over Abhi. Meanwhile, Abhi Manu chatters. A recent graduate and engineer, he strives hard to provide education and to spread awareness among poor people. He and his team of graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture the people by giving replies and money. No one hears about Ami Manu and his team of graduates who promise a healthy government. Their party is for no only joy. One day, Abhimanyu gets attacked by some miscreants on the streets and he rushes toward the ABP office to get help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and staff and security. Abhimanyu tells the staff that those experiences are from the ruling party and they have been sent by the chief minister Yuji Sarkar. Abir and Nena find out how women in the election can be and they had entire Covering it extensively, much to the chagrin of Tara Keshwar and Chief Minister. One night, Abhimanyu parties organizes an election campaign meeting. Abir photographs the event and receives a text message from Fire that states. There is a bomb underneath a stage where women knew is speaking. Abir manages to save women just before the bomb explodes. 
later, Nabil finds Kyle at the on the table glass side. Kyle is so busy, else Nabil and Nan before she dies. Nabil threw a video game caught in by another photograph. Finds out that Kyle was intentionally killed by someone. He also tells her that he is happy for Abhimanyu's success and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign. In the election, Abhimanyu's party wins by a huge majority and Abhimanyu becomes the chief minister. He orders the release of 10 axles on Republic Day, citing humanity. Shocked on hearing this news, Abir rushes to the Secretariat to meet Abhimanyu. In Abhimanyu's office, Abir notices that the Naxalite leader who killed Pyle is sitting there talking to Abhimanyu. Abir airs his grievances to Abhimanyu, who ignores him. Abir then follows the leader to his hideout. At the same time, Abhimanyu orders the Kolkata police to go kill the Naxals at their hideout, and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place and start firing at the Naxalites. A Naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage. Abir, already at the hideout, confronts the Naxalite leader whose name is Shankar and finds out from him that Abhimanyu had made a deal with Naxalite to help him win the election. They orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut. In order to win people's sympathy, in the same vein, they had planted a bomb on the stage where Abhimanyu was speaking during his meeting. Pyle had found out that the truth about Abhimanyu but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody. Avi realizes that Pyle had tried to warn him and Nana about Abhimanyu's true character before dying and also that now Abhimanyu is double crossing the slide and is planning to kill them as a show of achievement. Abhi records the confession of Sankar using his mobile phone camera sends it to Nana, who plans to publish this story in their newspaper. Abhi Manu then arrives outside the hideout and asks the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the next light. Abhi Manu goes inside and asks Sankar to kill Abhi. Sankar refuses as Abir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds. Abhimanyu then kills Sankar. He also tries to kill Abir. However, Abir triggers a bomb there which explodes, killing Abhimanyu. While Abir manages to ex escape, meanwhile, Abhimanyu's party members arrive at the hideout on hearing the news that Abhimanyu had died. Seeing their innocence, Abhir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character. 
and intentions and supported him, believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Nana publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Nana submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical response is minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times. Kanamachi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. We are discussing about movie Kanamachi. Kanamachi means hide and seek. It's a 2000 Bengali political thriller film directed by Raj Chakravarti and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is a remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Mitrati Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakrabarti, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, a story by KV Anand, produced by Ashok Tanuka, starring Kus Hajra, Slavan Chatterjee, Abir Chatterjee, Sayoni Osh, Rajatava Tatka, Cinematography Shubankar Par Yuvraj, edited by Rabi Ranjan Maitra, music by Indra D. Das Gupta and C.C. Chanda, production company SK Movies. The plot of this movie is the film begins with Abir Kusachra, a young energy photojournalist working for the private He changes them and manages to click photos of the robbers. When he tries to escape, he is stopped by a young woman, Nana Sravanti Chatterjee, who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers to take his camera. However, we managed to secure the memory card with the camera. The cops catch him and to prove that he is a press photographer. He shows the proof to them. The cops identify everyone in the photos the game leader whose face is called by a mask at his office. Abir again meets Nayana who has newly joined as art editor while Sayan Ghosh also works in his office and has feelings for Abir does not disrupt her feelings and treat her as only a friend. Settled in her job, Nana writes a cover story about the leader of opposition, Tarakishwar Dutta. 
five is ten Mary a minor and reach five Tara Kishma Park on a new paper office and shouts at Nana audio recording of the interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. A bit later risks his life capture pictures of Tarakish who actually engages in child's marriage in a temple at midnight. Later the story with photos is printed in their newspaper and this makes Anna to fall in love with him which Abir reciprocates. While initially jealous of the love between Abir and Anna but later accepts it and gets over Abir. Meanwhile Abhimanyu Abhi Chatterjee, a recent graduate and engineer, he strives hard to provide education and to spread awareness among people and poor people. He and his team of graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture the people by giving free buys and money. No one cares about Amin Manu and his team of graduates who promise a healthy government. Their party name is Forno Orichoy. One day, Amin gets attacked by some miscreants on the streets and he touches work the ABP office to get help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and staff and security. Women tells by staff that those miscreants are from the main party and they have been sent by the chief minister Ruji Sarkar. Abir and Nena find out about the new election campaign and they had entire ABP team extend their support to the field. Covering it extensively much to the chagrin of Tarakesh and Chief Minister. One night, Abhimanyu parties organizes an election campaign meeting. Abhir Prabhu event receives a text message from Fire that states there is a bomb underneath where women knew is speaking. Abir manages to save Abhimanyu just before the bomb explodes. Later, Abir finds while at the founding near the last site. While he struggles, tells Abir and Nana before she dies. A bill through a video clip recorded by another photographer finds out that file was intentionally killed by someone. He also tells her that he is happy for Abhimanyu's success 
and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign. In the election, Abhimanyu's party wins by a huge majority, and Abhimanyu becomes the chief minister. He orders the release of 10 Naxals on Republic Day, citing humanity. Shocked on hearing this news, Abir rushes to the secretariat to meet Abhimanyu. In Abhimanyu's office, Abir notices that the Naxalite leader who killed Pyle is sitting there talking to Abhimanyu. Abir airs his grievances to Abhimanyu, who ignores him. Abir then follows the leader to his hideout. At the same time, Abhimanyu orders the Kolkata police to go kill the Naxals at their hideout, and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place and start firing at the Naxalites. The Naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage. Abir, already at the hideout, confronts the Naxalite leader whose name is Shankar and finds out from him that Abhimanyu had made a deal with Naxalite to help him win the election. They orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut. In order to win people's sympathy, in the same vein, they had planted a bomb on the stage where Abhimanyu was speaking during his meeting. Pyle had found out that the truth about Abhimanyu but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody. Abhi realizes that Pyle had tried to warn him and Nana about Abhimanyu's true character before dying and also that now Abhimanyu is double crossing the next light and is planning to kill them. As a show of achievement, Abir records the confession of Sankar using his mobile phone. Camera sends it to Nana, who plans to publish this story in their newspaper. Abir Menu then arrives outside the hideout and asks the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the next light. Abir Menu goes inside and asks Sankar to kill Abir. Sankar refuses as Abir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds. Abhimanyu then kills Sankar. He also tries to kill Abir. However, Abir triggers a bomb there which explodes, killing Abhimanyu. While Abir manages to ex escape, meanwhile, Abhimanyu's party members arrive at the hideout on hearing the news that Abhimanyu had died. Seeing their innocence, Abhir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character and intentions and supported him, believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Nana publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Nana submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he 
rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical response is minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times. Kanamachi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. discussing about movie Kanamachi. Kanamachi means hide and seek. It's a 2000 Bengali political thriller film directed by Raj Chakraborty and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Indradeep Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakraborty, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, story by KV Anand, produced by Ashok Dhanuka, starring Us Hajra, Shravan. Chatterjee, Abir Chatterjee, Sayoni Osh, Rajatava Dutta, Cinematography, Shubankar Par Yuvraj, Edited by Rabi Ranjan Maitra, Music by Indra Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda, Production Company SK Movies. The plot of this movie is the film begins with Abir Ankus Najra, a young energy photojournalist working for the private newspaper. Anand Pajar Rika, witnessing Naxalites, Robin Allop, and he changes them and manages the photo of the robbers. When he tries to escape, he is stopped by a young woman, Anna Sarabandi Chatterjee, who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers to take his camera. However, we manage to secure the memory card with the camera. The cops catch him and to prove that he is a press photographer, he shows the proof to them. The cops identify every the photos except the gang leader whose face is covered by a mask at his office. Abir again meets Nayana who has newly joined as part of the editor. While Sayan goes all works in his office and has feelings for Abir does not disrupt her feelings and treat her as only a friend. Settled in her job, Nana writes a cover story about the leader of opposition, Arakishwara, describing his attempt to marry a minor. Enraged by this, Tarakishwar works on the newspaper office and shouts at Nana. The audio recording of the interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. Later, risks his life to capture each 
features of Bharat Vishnu who actually engaged in child marriage and for at midnight. Later, the story with Gurus is printed in their newspaper, and this makes Anna to fall in love with him, which Abir reciprocates. While is initially jealous of the love between Abir and Anna, but later accepts it and gets over Abir. Meanwhile, Abhimanyu, Abhir Chatterjee, a recent graduate and engineer, he strives hard to provide education and to spread awareness among people, poor people. He and his team of graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture people by device and money. No one cares about Abhimanyu and his team of graduates who promise a healthy government their party name is born for each joy. One day, a woman gets attacked by some miscreants on the streets and he rushes toward the ABP office to get help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and staff and security. Abhimanyu tells the staff that those experience are from the ruling party and they have been sent by the chief minister using the car. Abhis and Dana find out how Abhimanyu's election can be and they had entire Covering it extensively, much to the chagrin of Tara Keshwar and Chief Minister. One night, Abhimanyu parties organizes an election campaign meeting. Abhir photography event receives a text message from Fire that states. There is a bomb underneath the stage where women knew his speech. Abir manages to save a woman just before the bomb explodes. Later, Abir finds while Kathleen found it in the last side. While he struggles, tells Abir and Nana before she dies. Abir threw a video clip recorded by another photographer. Finds out that while was intentionally killed by someone, he also tells her that he is happy for Abir's new success and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign. In the election, Abhimanyu's party wins by a huge majority and Abhimanyu becomes the chief minister. He orders the release of 10 Naxals on Republic Day, citing humanity. Shocked on hearing this news, Abir rushes to the secretariat meet Abhimanyu. In Abhimanyu's office, Abhir notices that the Naxalite leader who killed Pyle is sitting there talking to Abhimanyu. 
Abhi airs his grievances to Abhimanyu, who ignores him. Abhi then follows the leader to his hideout. At the same time, Abhimanyu orders the Kolkata police to go kill the Naxals at their hideout, and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place and start firing at the Naxalites. The Naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage. Abir, already at the hideout, confronts the Naxalite leader whose name is Shankar and finds out from him that Abhimanyu had made a deal with Naxalite to help him win the election. They orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut. In order to win people's sympathy, in the same vein, they had planted a bomb on the stage where Abhimanyu was speaking during his meeting. Pyle had found out that the truth about Abhimanyu but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody. Avi realizes that Pyle had tried to warn him and Nana about Abhimanyu's true character before dying and also that now Abhimanyu is double crossing the light and is planning to kill them. As a show of achievement, Abhi records the confession of Sankar using his mobile phone camera sends it to Nana, who plans to publish this story in their newspaper. Abhi Manu then arrives outside the hideout and asks the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the next light. Abhi Manu goes inside and asks Sankar to kill Abhi. Sankar refuses as Abir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds. Abhimanyu then kills Sankar. He also tries to kill Abir. However, Abir triggers a bomb there which explodes, killing Abhimanyu. While Abir manages to ex- escape, meanwhile, Abhimanyu's party members arrive at the hideout. On hearing the news that Abhimanyu had died, seeing their innocence, Abhir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character and intentions and supported him, believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Nana publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Nana submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical response is minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times. Kana Machi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. Today we are discussing about the movie Kana Machi. Kana Machi means hide and seek. It's a 2000 Bengali political. 
directed by Raj Chakravarti and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Hitrati Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakrabarti, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, story by K.V. Anand, produced by Ashok Tanuka, starring Ankus Hajra, Shravan Chatterjee, Abir Chatterjee, Sayoni Ghosh, Rajatava Dutta, Cinematography, Shubankar Arjivraj, Edited by Rabi Ranjan Maitra. Music by Indra Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. Production company SK Movies. The plot of this movie is the film begins with Abir Ankus Ajra, a young energetic photojournalist working for the private. Anand Bajar Trika TVT Witnessing Naxalites Robbing Unlock Bank He changes them and manages to take photos of the robbers When he tries to escape he is stopped by a young woman and a Ravan P. Chatterjee, who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers to take his camera. However, we manage to secure the memory card of the camera. The cops catch him and prove that. He is a press photographer. He shows the proof to them. The cops identify everyone in the photos except the gang leader whose face is covered by a mask. At his office, Abir again meets Nayana. Who has newly joined as art editor? While Sani Bosch also works in his office and has feelings for Abir. Abir does not reciprocate her feelings and treat her as only a friend. Settled in her job. Nana writes a cover story about the leader of the opposition, Narakesh Pratika, describing his attempt to marry a minor and raise to five years. Narakesh works on the newspaper office and shouts at Nana. Audio recording of an interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting. Abir later risks his life to capture pictures of Tarakish, who actually engages in child's marriage in a temple and Midnight. Later, the story with photos is printed in their newspaper, and this makes Anna to fall in love with him, which Abir reciprocates. While is initially jealous of the love between Abir and Anna. But later accepts it and gets over Abir. 
Meanwhile, Abhimanyu, a general, recent graduate and engineer, he strives hard to provide education and to spread awareness among the people, poor people. He and his team of graduates try to contest against more experienced politicians who capture the people by giving divide and money. No one cares about Abhimanyu and his team of graduates who promise a healthy government. Their party name is Porno for each other. One day, women will get attacked by some experience on the streets and he touches work with the heavy police to get help. The attackers are thrown away by the office and staff and security. Abhimanyu tells the staff that those miscreants are from the ruling party and they have been sent by the chief minister Suji Sarka. Abhis and Nena find out from Abhimanyu's election campaign and they had entire ABP. Covering it extensively, much to the chagrin of Tarakesh and Chief Minister. One night, Abhimanyu party organizes an election campaign meeting. Abhir photography event receives a text message from fire that states. There is a bomb underneath the stage where women knew his speech. Bill manages to save women just before the bomb explodes. Later, Abil finds while at the found in the old last site. While is so Tell something to Abir and Nana before she dies. Abir threw a video clip recorded by another photographer. Finds out that while was intentionally killed by someone, he also tells her that he is happy for Abir's new success and is wholeheartedly supporting his election campaign. In the election, Abhimanyu's party wins by a huge majority and Abhimanyu becomes the chief minister. He orders the release of 10 Naxals on Republic Day, citing humanity. Shocked on hearing this news, Abhir rushes to the secretariat meet Abhimanyu. In Abhimanyu's office, Abhir notices that the Naxalite leader who killed Payal is sitting there talking to Abhimanyu. Abhir airs his grievances to Abhimanyu, who ignores him. Abhir then follows the leader to his hideout. At the same time, Abhimanyu orders the Kolkata police to go kill the Naxals at their hideout and the police commandos surround the perimeter of that place and start firing at the Naxalites. A Naxalite leader gets shot during the shooting and his group take hold of some people as hostage. Abir already at the hideout 
confronts the Naxalite leader, whose name is Shankar, and finds out from him that Abhimanyu had made a deal with Naxalite to help him win the election. They orchestrated events such as the burning of a hut and the saving the child of a woman in that hut. In order to win people's sympathy, in the same vein, they had planted a bomb on the stage where Abhimanyu was speaking during his meeting. Pyle had found out that the truth about Abhimanyu but was fatally assaulted by him so that she does not reveal his character intentions to anybody. Abhi realizes that Pyle had tried to warn him and Nana about Abhimanyu's true character before dying and also that now Abhimanyu is double crossing the slide and is planning to kill them as a show of achievement. Abhi records the confession of Sankar using his mobile phone camera sends it to Nana who plans to publish this story in their newspaper. Abhi Menu then arrives outside the hideout and asks the police personnel to let him go inside alone and try to reason with the next light. Abhi Menu goes inside and asks Sankar to kill Abhi. Sankar refuses as Abir saved his life by getting a doctor for him to cure his wounds. Abhimanyu then kills Sankar. He also tries to kill Abir. However, Abir triggers a bomb there which explodes, killing Abhimanyu. While Abir manages to ex escape, meanwhile, Abhimanyu's party members arrive at the hideout on hearing the news that Abhimanyu had died. Seeing their innocence, Abhir forces Nana not to reveal the truth about Abhimanyu because his party members would get into serious trouble and lose their seats just for supporting Abhimanyu. They did not know about Abhimanyu's true character and intentions and supported him, believing his false claims of a healthy government. Instead, Nana publishes an article saying that Abhimanyu had sacrificed his life fighting the Naxalites and died as a martyr. The film ends with Abir and Anna submitting their resignations to the chief editor for falsified reporting, but he rejects their resignations and tells them to cover the upcoming elections. The critical responses minus the song dance items and distracting change in focus at times. Kanamachi is an, an entertaining movie with a strong message. Hello friends, today we are discussing about movie Kanamachi. Kanamachi means hide and seek is a 2000 Bengali political thriller film directed by Raj Chakravarti and produced by Ashok Tanuka under his banner SK Movies. This film is remake of Tamil successful film Go. The music directors of the film are Indradeep Das Gupta and Rishi Chanda. This is directed by Raj Chakravarti, written by Abhimanyu Mukherjee, a story by K.V. Anand, produced by Ashok Tanuka, starring Kus Hajra, Shravanti Chatterjee.
कबीर चटर्जी सायोनी घोष राजेतवा दत्ता सिनेमेटोग्राफी शुभंकर और युवराज एडिटेड बाय रवि रंजन मोइंत्रा म्यूजिक बाय इंद्रज दास गुप्ता एंड किसी चंदा प्रोडक्शन कंपनी एसके मूवीज द प्लॉट ऑफ दिस मूवी इज द फिल्म बिगिंस विद कबीर सुनचरा a young energetic photojournalist working for the private newspaper Anand Bajaj Tripa TV witnessing Naxalites robbing a local bank he chases them and enemies take photos of the robbers when he tries to He is stopped by a young woman, Nana Sravanti Chaturj, who assumes he is the culprit and helps the robbers to take his camera. However, Kabir manages to secure the memory card with the camera. The cops. catch and to prove that he is a press photographer he shows the proof to them the cops identify everyone in the photo except the gang leader whose face is covered by a mask at his office abir in meets Naina who has really joined as part of the team while Sanj Ghosh calls Parvus in his office and has feelings for Abir. Abir does not reciprocate her feelings and treat her as only a friend. settled in her job Nana writes a cover story about the leader of opposition Tarak Ishwar Dutta describing his attempt to marry a minor and raised by this Tarak Ishwar Dutta on the newspaper of and shouts at Nana the audio recording of the interview disappears and she is fired from her job for falsified reporting a bit later this is the life captured pictures of Tarak Ishwar who actually 